Hello YouTube, Marauders here and I have a quick update on the Xiaomi uh, 10,400 power bank. So, <clears throat> we already has, have established that the Xiaomi power bank is able to output 2 amps of current when we are charging something. So, here I'm going to charge the Acer W4. In. and we can see that it's drawing 1.89 amps for charge so it's charging at 2 amps now the fun remember that I mentioned one of the features of the power bank was that is able you can charge the power bank as well as the device at the same time now I always wonder how efficient that was and the cool thing is I now have two of these USB meters so it's time for me to find out so I can just plug this one in and let's plug it in so I don't know why the power meter flashes but uh, there it goes it's still flashing but you can see once I'm charging the power bank as well as the the device at the same time you can see that the, the current output has actually dropped so now instead of going at 1.8 amps which is close enough to call it 2 amps it's actually just going at 1 amp as for the charging of the battery pack itself we can see that it is at 1.6 amps and we'll drop back down 1.1 hmm okay now you can see both of them at the same time so we have here a yeah the problem is that I don't have uh, instructions uh, for this thing so I'm not really sure why is it blinking but I did notice something else there's a little downward arrow pointing on this thing so I wonder is it because that the current is actually dropping oh now I think I know what's happening here now the interesting thing to note here is that this this USB power meter can actually show me the consumption of the current as well as the as well as they call this the charge indicator they call this the charge indicator to show how much current is actually entering a device from the battery now the interesting thing here is that this thing isn't moving hmm you can see now it's moving again I think it's because the Acer W4 is actually asking for more current than the than the battery is now charging at the same time. So so I guess the main thing here is that uh, I guess the main thing here it okay first of all it has obviously proven the fact that that the that when you when you charge both the power bank and the device at the same time there's definitely going to be some trade-off in the performance of the battery as you can see that the battery right now isn't isn't providing as much current as it is usually so the well it's, it's something that we already knew it's just that we're verifying it now now watch when I pull out the charge cable the power pack actually shuts down for a while and then it restarts back up so now it's charging at 2 amps again okay so that was just a quick update on this new on the power bank findings so this is Marauders and I will see you guys around